Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Zach. This week we're going to work on migrating a static HTML site that's currently hosted on GitHub Pages, which will be my personal site that I've been using for years. And we're going to migrate it into a content management system. The reason you might want to do something like this is if you created a static HTML site, but now you need to deliver it to an end user and they're like, What's going on? How do I update my site? How do I go in and edit the HTML? Am I going to go into GitHub and commit a change just to make an update to a page or add a blog post? That's not exactly the user experience that they might expect. Typically, they're going to want to log in to a content management system so they can easily make edits uh, without any hassle at all. So we're that's what we're going to do today. We're going to convert a site from static HTML into a content management system. And uh, that's it, let's get started. All right, well, here's ZachShorts.com. The first thing that we wanna do is migrate the overall layout to our content management system. So that's kind of the first main challenge. Let's go over to GitHub where the site is currently hosted on GitHub pages. And if we go to layouts, this is using Jekyll, by the way, for static for the static HTML generation. Uh, we're going to go to layouts and under my layouts directory, I have default.html and that's where the actual uh, layout exists on GitHub pages. So we need to convert this into a template hosted on our content management system, which we'll be using Raytha for. So we have a fresh installation of Raytha ready to go and we'll go to templates here on the left side and then we'll click edit on layout. And this is the default layout that we get. So if you click live website, we get the sample content and theme that Raytha provides out of the box. Uh, so we're gonna have to actually have to clear all that out and replace it with this content here. Now you may notice that we have some assets that are relative URLs. That's not going to work uh, when we migrate this over to our content management system because these assets are going to continue to be hosted on GitHub pages. And it's actually totally fine to leave these assets on GitHub pages if they're uh, you know, basic JavaScript and CSS and fonts and things like that. It might even make sense just to keep it there. So I'm going to uh, make a quick edit just so that we can continue to host those assets on GitHub pages. All right, let's publish our changes and see what the site looks like. Not bad at all. That was pretty quick to get most of the layout working right away. Uh, a couple issues we see here, the home page that's pulling our default home page content is kind of misaligned and not correct with with this here. So we got to fix that. We also have to probably fix a couple of links here. See these links are broken because we're trying to access pages that don't exist in the content management system. So we're going to have to address some of those problems. Uh, but if we go down to essays, you see it is pulling uh, from posts because we're using our the default post content type that Raytha offers. We click that, we said, but the alignment is still incorrect and we still have some issues with how things render. So we'll go ahead and fix that too. Uh, but we're pretty, we're off to a pretty good start in a very short period of time. So let's fix the home page first. We actually have a home page template that comes with Raytha. So we'll go and we'll search for home template and let's click edit. And this is the home page template. But if we go back to the static site, it was quite a bit different. So we need to copy a lot of that over. And let's go to index, which was the home page. So this is the home page. I'm going to copy and paste this HTML in here. And then we're going to do a couple things. We're going to erase this and replace this with target.primary field. So this will be primary field is currently set to the title of the page. And then we're going to also erase this, which is the content that's hard coded in HTML. And now we want to hook this up to the content management system. So it could be easily edited by any user. We're going to come in and we're going to, uh, it's a current, it's a page. So we're going to copy content, click the variable. And we're going to insert that variable just like that. And then we'll click publish changes. 
So if we go to the public site again, boom, we're in good shape there. But this says home and we need to fix that. Also, this content is incorrect. So we need to fix the actual content that appears here. Let's go to our current site. I'm going to copy and paste this section right here. Oh, if I, if I can copy and paste it, kind of come back into pages. We're going to edit the title and I'm going to come back here and take this content. Oops, go here, save and publish. So now if I refresh this page, now it looks exactly like the home page uh, that's hosted on GitHub pages. But the difference is, is that you can actually edit this home page content and this title as a simple website user by coming into pages and editing the content and the title here. You don't have to go in and uh, modify the HTML manually. So that's a, it's a huge advantage and a huge improvement over the current user experience. Next up, let's see if we could fix the pages. So if I click experience currently, it's going to 404 out and that page doesn't exist. So we're going to come back in here. The other default page, we're just going to edit that one. We're going to change this to experience. And then we're going to edit the route as well to match what we currently have. And then click save changes. Let's just refresh, see what we have. The alignment is a bit off, but it's already looking better. Uh, so we'll have to address that. Uh, but we're going to come back in here. And looks like I didn't save it the first time. That's okay. We'll come to the original site on, Git, on GitHub. And I'm just going to copy and paste all this content over. Let me see if I grab that too. Let's just clean it up a little bit. All right, we'll save and publish. And okay, but we still need to fix the alignment. Let's go to templates. And this page was using the detail view. Content item detail view template. We'll edit that one. And let's go back to GitHub pages. We'll go to layouts and the page layout. Let's copy and paste this HTML over instead. And we're going to say target dot primary field to pull the title. And then here, I don't remember what it was, but we'll, we'll search for it. Content copy and insert the variable publish changes and refresh. All right, not bad. Now it's a little different because in this page we had uh, the dates on the right side. I'm not going to go ahead and, and make that change. Um, but you could if you want take that as a homework assignment. Uh, so you can create as many templates as you want to fit exactly what you need. Uh, but I'm already quite happy with how fast that was to make that change. So we got our home page, we have that page. We're gonna skip over these because it follows the same pattern. We don't need to create those pages right now, uh, but we're gonna tackle this as well. So if we go back to essays here, you see it looks a bit more simpler. I prefer the simple look for this and we're just gonna uh, follow this model. All right, we'll go back to templates and then we're gonna create a new template call this post list view parent template is our layout template. We only want to apply to posts and then let's copy and paste over the list view that we found over here. This content, now this is going to be used in a list view, which is a little different. Uh, so we want the title of the list view. We're going to come in here and let's search for target list result. And I want the label of it. We're also going to want the items too, because we're going to loop through the items. Let's, let's paste them here and grab them. All right, so we'll put, oops, we'll put the target label up there. And here we want to say for item in target dot items, because we want to loop through the different posts that we have. And then we're going to say, uh, because this is copied over from GitHub pages, Raytha has a different model. So we just need to make sure it aligns instead with Raytha. So we're going to say item dot route path. 
I just know that from memory, but you can search for that in here. Search for a route path like that. So <laughs> don't think that you have to memorize all of that. That's, that's, that's crazy. Uh, and we'll say item dot primary field again for the title. And we'll just copy the same thing here for post date. We're going to say item dot creation time. And I know this from memory, I'm just going to copy and paste this from the default open water uh, list views where this is going to convert from UTC time zone, uh, the, the date that the, the date and time that this post was created and convert it to the time zone that we have specified under our configuration settings, um, you know, as, as an admin. So that should do the trick. Let's see what happens. Nothing happened, but oh, we made a mistake. We need to go to pages because we created a new, uh, sorry, we need to go to posts because we made a new template. We didn't tell our post content type to use that template on this list view. So here's the list view. You can create multiple list views if you want to, but we're just using the default one that comes published out of the box. And we just need to say, don't use this list view. Use the new one that we created and click save. Now I think it should work. And it does. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the detail view template. Post detail view layout. We'll say it's only for posts. And we'll come back here and layouts, posts, and we'll grab this. All right, let's publish. And we have to go to posts and make sure that this is using the post detail view, save changes. And let's go to live site, looking pretty good. Now, obviously, if I come over here, and I click edit on one of these, you know, it, I would need to, you know, actually copy and paste this content over um, and create the post. So you got to do some kind of content migration. Obviously, if you're in this situation, you got to get those posts moved over so you can go. And it's pretty easy to do here in Wraith. I just go and click create post and choose your post detail view you just created. Great title content. And you have the ability, of course, to create all sorts of custom fields on your content type because uh, you have the full power of liquid syntax. So you can create all sorts of fields if you want to beyond just the default fields that we get. But that's a bit more out of scope for this video, yeah, but it allows you to build more comprehensive and intense websites. Pretty solid work here. We're able to successfully convert a static GitHub page into a content management system. So that could be edited and maintained going forward by any average or typical user without having to modify and commit HTML, uh, HTML changes. So uh, I hope you found this video helpful. I encourage you to check out Raytha.com. The Raytha content management system is completely free and open source available on GitHub. So go ahead and check it out. Uh, follow Raytha on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash Raytha HQ. It's Raytha HQ on all social media. So go ahead and check it out and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.